my name is Mark Johanneman. I'm a graduate student at Kentucky State University and I'm doing my research under Dr. Andrew Ray. For my thesis, I'm looking at denitrification, inline denitrification of hybrid bioflock shrimp systems. And I'm comparing no media in the reactor to wood chip media. And I'm comparing ethanol, uh, fermented sludge supernatant, and no carbon as carbon sources for the bacteria. Nitrate builds up in the systems over time, and so we're using denitrification to be able to reuse the water without having to replace it. So our culture tank is a hybrid bioflock tank. It's a thousand liters or one cubic meter, and we've got it stocked with 250 shrimp. From the culture tank, we have a pump that brings the water up through this line into our protein skimmer. Our protein skimmer is a venturi powered skimmer that injects air into the bottom and as that air rises it collects fine particles that then rise to the top and up through that overflow. The water then goes through this external standpipe and overflows into the settling chamber. So in our settling chamber the water drops into this center pipe which ends right about here, a few inches off the bottom. The water flows down through that pipe and once it reaches the bottom it slows down. At this time the larger, heavier particles will settle the bottom and the cleaner water will then flow up to the top and overflow out of the settling chamber. Once the water exits the settling chamber it will hit this T and it has two options. The first option is to fall into this aerobic biofilter. It's styled as a moving bed bioreactor and so the water will fall in here and it'll be turned around with a bunch of K1 media and it'll exit through the bottom and out over through this external standpipe. If we look over here, the second option is to go through the D-Night reactor. This side of the T is actually slightly lower and that way we can control water going through here with the use of a gate valve. The gate valve allows for more precise control of our flow rates and also handles the accumulation of solids better. If you look over here you can see how the D-Night reactor is styled. It's an upflow reactor and so the water will flow again past this gate valve, down this pipe, and it will work its way up through the reactor and out here back throughout the tank. And once it's back into the tank, our cycle through the filtration is complete and we should be free of nitrate.